Yeah, I'll get an, an update on the uh, extremely long dorsal uh, female black Moscow's. Uh, one of the females got uh, the, the dorsal fin nipped quite a bit actually, not this one. Obviously this one's very close to uh, having another batch of fry. Uh, you know, I, I thought that uh, maybe I came up with something with these because uh, I hadn't seen anybody else's, but uh, I did see somebody, uh, might have been ATFG, somebody on Aquabid from uh, overseas with uh, not the greatest picture, to, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. That's one of the other females, uh, it's one of the younger males. and uh, But they were asking for $95 a pair, so I guess it's something very new. But I'm enjoying it, it's really unusual. Uh, I haven't raised females before that had this long and wide of a dorsal and she knows I'm talking about her dorsal because she won't turn to the side so you can see it. Let's go. Move it. Come on. There we go. That is not the tail. That is uh, the dorsal. You can see the tail right there. The dorsal is a somewhat normal shape until you get uh, another almost half inch out of it. Uh, this one has it as well. That one got nipped a little bit. Uh, there are some babies uh, in the tank growing out. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these uh, separate. Actually, by separate, I mean not in with other black Moscow's. I think uh, these females and the males I selected uh, carry this gene for the long uh, dorsal. Uh, there are some more babies up in the top uh, actually, there's one right over there. Of course, they're in the way. Let's go. Move it. And right there. So, that's another batch. And uh, I have three uh, females in here. I have a couple more females in reserve. Uh, the super long dorsal. And this male is... Uh, oh, his fins are so big that he's not... Uh, I mean, he can swim okay, but he doesn't always swim around. And uh, he's almost uh, full black, actually. Uh, there's one very tiny spot under the stomach, I guess, uh, that's white. So it's another progression with uh, these uh, black Moscow's is I'm almost getting completely full black right now. So this male is just starting to grow out. Uh, color is coming in. So, uh, try to find the female again. Think she's in the back with all the dirt. So, uh, she'll probably drop fry within the next couple of days. She's very fat and wide. And that's when uh, they end up dropping the fry. So, this one is starting to develop the dorsal. That's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, trying to see if I can catch another one. There's some more of the little babies that were just born a couple days ago. And let's see. Well, sadly she's not turning to the side as much as I'd like. There we go. That's about the best view I can get on her. And uh, pretty interesting. I mean, I find this completely fascinating. I don't know if anybody else does. Uh, I don't know if I'll send a couple of these females to... Uh, enter in the black class in the uh, upcoming uh, IFGA show in a couple of weeks in uh, New England. Uh, I don't really want to lose these, you know, to shipping or, or something. So uh, definitely not sending this one unless she uh, drops the fry because you don't want to mail out the fish in this kind of uh, condition that's that close to having babies because that's a, not a good thing. They'll probably have babies in the bag, and then the babies will die, and the female will die. So, pretty cool looking fish. I just wanted to give an update on these, because uh, I thought I was the only one that has them, but hey, there's one more guy now that's got them. So, that's kind of cool. And uh, I'll try to update them again, uh, probably after she drops the fry. Uh, trying to find her. She disappears. She goes... So uh, that'll do it. I'll uh, add some more stuff after the this video uh, you know, to 
make it a little bit longer video and in case you're bored with black moscows uh, there'll be something else coming up so anyway thank you for hanging in there so far and i'll be right back hey i'll finish up the video with uh, updates on the platinum red mosaic big ear guppies uh, except for this large one which is about nine months old uh, the fish in this tank are four months and a week and as you can see if you go back in some prior videos I only had this one looking like a male and everything else in there looked like a female and uh, it does take them longer to start to color up at about three to four months uh, the males will start to distinguish themselves. Now, oddly, with this uh, group, which is all from one batch, uh, you don't see really many uh, of the long fin ones, which is okay with me. I didn't want the long fin ones. I just wanted regular. So I'm thinking it's going to skip a generation because uh, what I'm doing by using an older male uh, to first hit the females is uh, those genes will stay in uh, in the system more or less. So I'll probably get uh, more long fin every other generation. But uh, as you can see, there's quite a few males in here now. And uh, the tail has colored up. The peck fins are starting to elongate. Uh, the only thing that hasn't happened yet is the dorsal hasn't started to get the orange or red color. So, you know, like this one has. So another week or two and that'll change. And uh, I'll probably put some up for sale. I have two people I have to contact that have been uh, asking for these for quite a while. I didn't forget you guys. Uh, I'll be emailing you shortly about them. And uh, here's another tag of them. Uh, same deal, I had one older male in here which you can see has the normal coloration and the uh, these fish are a month younger and you can see just a few of the males are starting to color up this is exactly what happens with them the platinum comes in the uh, tail starts to get the color and the dorsal will be last this one's a little further along and he's also hidden uh, this one is kind of just starting to get the coloration. These are interesting fish. There's no, uh, for the people interested in IFGA stuff, there's no class in the IFGA for these. Uh, the IFGA has standards on uh, body shape, fin shape, and uh, conformation. Uh, these don't meet that. Uh, the biggest one... Uh, that I have currently is this one. Uh, it really can't even go in as a wide tail because that tail is more rounded. So they may add classes in the future, but uh, I seriously doubt they'll add anything that these fish uh, would qualify as. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them, because uh, there isn't. It just means that it's uh, the organization is not uh into this type of fish more or less they uh have a particular standard of gorgeous fish and this is just a different type of guppy so you know it's like they're not going to get involved with endlers uh, you know various things uh the, you know those things are beautiful but it's not what they're interested in so uh this one's starting to get the bigger uh peck fins and uh yeah, I think these are beautiful fish. I'm really glad that I got them. As I said many times, I had imported them from Indonesia. I started out with two pair, and I ran them as separate lines. And I have about, uh, I think I have four or five tanks of them. And uh, I'm going to pick some breeders once these mature. And then I'll set up a couple of more uh, breeding tanks. Uh, there are some babies, finally, in one of these tanks. Not sure which one it is. Uh, they're probably hidden up there pretty good because these fish do go after their uh, fry. So it's best to have a lot of cover in the tank. And that, that's why I have plants in my tanks for 
a couple of reasons. One, it provides uh, cover for babies. Two, for females if they're getting uh, harassed. Hey, that's my thumb. And uh, another reason really is because it, it helps grow algae on the sides of the tank, which the fish will eat. And that's completely evidenced by uh, at the bottom of the tank, there'll be uh, green poop, which means they are eating the algae, which is an excellent food for guppies. So not everybody uh, keeps plants in their tanks. Uh, something I like, but I only keep uh, water sprite or java moss. And uh, Anyhow, I just want to update you on the uh, Platinum Red Mosaic Big Ear Guppies. And uh, I'll probably throw a trio on Aquabid pretty soon. Uh, maybe next week or the week after. And I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, if you really like seeing my thumb or something, let me know. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.